All right, banded chest press. So you can do this with both your monster band or your band with handles. I'll show with the band with handles first. And what we're going to do is we can do the standing. That's the beauty of it. You can do, do it standing, sitting, however, whatever suits your fancy. Standing is best because you have the movement of the band. When you're on the ground, it will flatten out and then you'll be a little bit restricted. So really, truly, we're getting that band around our back, almost like you're holding a shawl or a towel across your shoulders or around your back. Um, and we want to make sure that we're nice and secure so it's not going to slide up and smack us in the head. From here, you're going to press forward and come back. And that is it. That's the beauty of this movement. So obviously, if the tension of the band is tighter, you might be in a different position to be able to go and move it. And same length. Length of bands all vary as well, so you have to play and figure in what works for you. Now, if you have one of these bands, which I actually prefer doing these banded chest presses with them because I don't have to loop it over anywhere and I can get a little bit more tension, a little bit more challenge. They don't slide as much either. Same setup. Band, cross your back somewhere so it won't slide on up. If you feel like it's sliding, I promise you stop, adjust, and keep going. Don't just wait for that moment to happen. So from here, now that I have more tension, I'm going to press forward and come back up. And now you can press in almost any hand angle or hand position that you prefer. Most of us prefer press, pressing this way as if we're pushing the heaviest grocery cart out of the way. And there you go. Those are your banded chest presses.